Satan. Uh, Dr. Paul, how do you reconcile the fact that you believe that the federal government has no place in gay marriage debate with your support of DOMA? Well, DOMA, DOMA doesn't excite me. Matter of fact, I wasn't there when it was voted on, so uh, that's not the most important thing. But um, when it comes to welfare benefits, uh, it puts me in a predicament because I don't think the government should be involved at all with marriage. Uh, state governments, are in, that would be my preference. Only the individual. If two individuals want to call themselves married, fine and dandy. Uh, that's their business. Just so they don't have the right to impose their relationship on somebody else. But uh, somebody who's heterosexual can't impose on them their definition of marriage. Uh, so that, that should be settled. But the question is about DOMA. The predicament there is if all of us, this has to do with benefits. Uh, and this has to do with economics. I don't believe in any of that welfareism, but what if I vote on a bill that adds 50,000 or 100,000 new beneficiaries because they're called spouses? That becomes an economic issue. I wouldn't have voted for the benefits for the individual anyway, the single individual. So I'm not anxious to vote to expand the benefits. Now, the one way you could get around this to a degree um, is, say, Social Security benefits. Uh, I, I, don't want, I don't think we should have Social Security. I don't, I don't think that's a proper function, but I don't do anything to destroy it. Matter of fact, I've made some provision to try to save it, and that is isolate the funds, not allow the general revenues ever to rob the Social Security Trust Fund, and have a real account there. If you had a real account there, uh, it, what happens today, if you have an account and you die, it just disappear. Your beneficiaries don't get it. So if you're an individual and you call yourself married, uh, whether it's same sex or opposite sex, you ought to say, well, there's ownership there, and I designate that my partner get that money. That would be one way around it that would be in between. But the, the biggest predicament I personally would have would be to expand the welfare system by uh, coming up with uh, expanding a definition of marriage. And I don't even want to be in the business of definition of marriage, but the contract of designation, designating a beneficiary, I think would be uh, a, a pretty good solution to that.